Greetings, Salutations, guys. Heaton here. Welcome to a live sale this, uh, what day is it? Thursday, January 12, 2023. I still can't believe it's 2023 already. It's crazy. And I can't believe we're like almost halfway through January. I feel like it was <sighs> just like Halloween yesterday. So it's nuts. But let's see who's in here. There's Linda. Hi, Linda. Deborah. Dorothy. Tofo. Pauline. Hi, guys. How is everyone's week so far? I feel like I haven't seen you guys in so long. I'm sorry I've been so super busy. It was Eliza's birthday this week, and then we're actually throwing him a birthday party this weekend. So we're in party mode right after this. I'm going to start decorating the house and getting everything ready. Um, we're going to put up more balloon arches. He says he wants eight. He's only getting two. And we have, like, the leftover remnants of Cade's balloon arch which I'm just going to add to and then I have like this like cool round arch thing that I got from the 99 cent store you guys do not order anything from Amazon for like making balloon arches it's so much cheaper if you go to the 99 cent store it's literally like half the price so go to there <laughs> instead if you're gonna buy like those like there's like you could buy like the skeleton for the balloon arch it's so much cheaper at the 99 cent store if you have one near you um what else was I going to tell you guys? Yeah, we're just super busy for Eliza's birthday. And, um, oh, I am still having a live sale tomorrow, too. So since we're not having a sale on Saturday, the live, the Saturday live sale is going to take place on Friday, which is tomorrow, or tomorrow. So tomorrow night. And I think that's going to be at either 7 or 8 p.m. Pacific time. I know I already have it scheduled, but I forgot what time I set it at. So let me check really quickly. Um, it's at, it's at 7, so it's tomorrow, Friday at 7 p.m. is going to be the next live, and then I'll probably have another live sale either Sunday or Monday, depending on how dead I am from the weekend's festivities. Uh, hi Kirsten, how are you? Hi Boots. Hi Fatia, hello. Oh, hi Kathleen. Dodo Bird. Pauline, it's your birthday today? Happy birthday! Oh, everyone say happy birthday to Pauline. It's her birthday. Yay! I love a January birthday. Hi, Anne. How are you? Hi, Norma, Tara, Melissa. Hi, guys. <sighs> okay. I have, I have my coffee, which is cold and almost finished. I have a little water. I have so many goodies for you guys. Uh, oh, Kirsten. Well, I'm so excited that you're excited. Okay, let me get myself situated. Um, I have so many fun goodies. I'm trying something, like, a little bit different, where I kind of put, like, the haul videos slash, like, preview videos right before the live. So you kind of see already, like, what there is going to be in the sale. So let me know if you guys like that. And because it's, I like, people all, like, usually put those videos, like, the I usually have everything filmed. And, like, in a queue. So, I usually give myself, like, a week or two, like, like time to, like, have enough, um, like, enough videos for the upcoming week or whatever, just in case I don't have anything to film or whatever. So, usually, like, the haul videos will come up, like, a week after they show up in the live, and then people ask if things are available, and they're um, not, and I always feel bad. So, I'm going to try to do everything, like right before the live starts that, it, that are going to be in the live. Um, I can't promise if I'm going to be able to do that every time, but I did that this time. So there was a video yesterday and the one from this morning are going to, like, are all new items that you're going to see today. Oh, Linda, I'm so excited. That bag is beautiful. The colors, ah, gorgeous. Um, oh, Kirsten, I'm glad that you like everything. Yay. <gasps> oh, 
And did you get, was it, okay, I looked really quickly in Discord. Was it like the one with the, the black one with the flowers on it? Is that the one that you got? Which one was it? I hope it was that one. That one is really, really pretty. I love those special edition puzzle bags. Oh my gosh. I hope it's that one that I saw. Oh, wait, I actually have something too that I'm going to unbox with you guys because something literally just came. Um, and then we'll open it. And I'm pretty sure it's something that I'm going to have that's for you guys. Boots. <laughs> um, I did cut my hair a little bit, like, on the sides. Well, I guess on the top too. So, I don't know. I'm, like, addicted to cutting my hair right now. I don't know what it is. I'm never going to have long hair again at this point because they keep cutting it. Okay, I did get a package this morning. I'm waiting on another one. So if that one comes like during the live, um, then I'll open it with you guys. Otherwise, we'll do that tomorrow. Actually, maybe I'll just save it for tomorrow. So we have like one like unboxing each night at least. Um, I don't know. I'm really liking unboxing stuff with you <laughs> in the beginning of the live that I had that I that I found for you guys. So we're gonna do this um, right now. But oh, I need a giveaway question. So help me think of a giveaway question. Today's giveaway are these really cool Wyatt sunglasses. I know like this shape isn't for everyone, but I feel like these sunglasses look pretty cool. And I don't know, you might like like it when you try it on. You can just give it away. But these sunglasses are really cool. The retail of these sunglasses, too, are pretty expensive. I think they're, like, over $150 retail. So they're just, like, really cool, fun sunglasses. So, I don't know. You never know. You might really like a round sunglass. I think these are really fun. So this is today's giveaway. Hi, Hannah. How are you? I won't tell which one, <laughs> Diana. Okay, it'll be a surprise for when she gets it. Oh, Carmen, thank you. Oh, you deleted the picture? <gasps> no, Anne. I want to see what it is. Hi, J-Sweet. Oh, J-Sweet, let me check. Let's see. Uh-uh-uh. Oh my gosh, what? I have so many emails this morning. It is crazy. I thought I just checked this. Uh... Okay, that's not it. Wait, Jay Sweet, what was your. Oh, hold on. Oh, is it? I don't see it. Did you just send it this morning, J Sweet? Am I totally missing it? Oh, on Monday? Uh oh. Um let's see. Oh, okay, I see it, J Sweet. Thank you. Okay. I'll let Vadrian know. And then. Alrighty. I'm so sorry, I totally missed your email. I've been getting so much, like, junk email again. It's, like, crazy. <clears throat> okay. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh, Hannah. Now I'm really curious for what bag Ann got. I really want to see what it is. I keep pressing print. 
can. <laughs> Hi, Veronica. Have a good day at work. <gasps> now I need to know what the deal is that she got on that bag. Okay. Okay, um, but let's think of a... Like, I need a question. What should the question be? What? Mm. I don't know. Vader would help you think of a question. What is your favorite handbag color? I feel like that's cool. Ooh, eight ninety five. That's a deal. Okay, this is the question. What is your favorite handbag color? So that's our question for today. And then the link. Let me leave that here in the live chat. There it is. Okay, so that's tonight's question, or today's question. I keep forgetting that it's daytime. And we're giving away this pair of Wyatt sunglasses. They're super cool and round. <laughs> I feel like they're almost like Harry Potter sunglasses. Or like, um, what's the other professor that has round sunglasses too from Harry Potter? Hi, <laughs> Patia. Yay. I like that. Okay. Oh, let's unbox this. Okay. So let's unbox this first. This is our first thing that we're going to do. And this is side, this is something that is going to be for sale. So I'm really excited to see it. I haven't opened it yet. Ooh, their packaging stuff is really pretty. Look at that, it has flowers on it. That is really nice tissue paper. All right, here it is. Ooh, I got so much of this paper, I'm definitely gonna be using it. Set that over there. Are you guys excited? Where, why not I do a little bit here? <laughs> and <laughs> yes, when we do our live. Okay, Veronica, um, which black bot key is it, Veronica? Is it the one that you have, like, that you purchased? Okay, so, here is the bag. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. And then the strap is inside of here. Or the two straps are inside of here, I should say. So, let me. It's This is the mini tabby. So this is like the small one. I'll show you in comparison to the pink one. I still do have the pink one too. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's even cuter in person. Like this bag is so adorable. So this is the this is the small pillow tabby. All right, um, I'm gonna have Vadrian send me photos to send you because Vadrian has all that stuff right now, Veronica. So there's that. Isn't it so cute? It has a little bit of... I wonder if I could clean that. Hold on. Because there's a little bit of like... There are a couple little marks just right there, but I don't think they are actually stains. I think it's just something that's... Do I have my eraser? Of course I lost it. Eraser, where are you? Okay, let me just use the cleaner to see if I can get it out. Okay. 
Let's see if it'll come out. Cross your fingers for me. Oh, that came out in like a second. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that just came right off. It wasn't even like, I didn't even have to struggle to do anything. It literally just came off like it melted. Um, anything else? Yes, this coach is going to be for sale. So, this, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm literally crying. You know, I actually purchased one of these for you guys before, but it turned out to not be authentic, so I had to send it back. But this one is for sure authentic. Let me show you guys. So here she is. So pretty. Pink, blue, and green. Silver hardware. We have the little top handle. We have the little um, hang tag right there. Crossbody strap. It still has a little plastic underneath right there as well to protect the magnets. And then the interior. Oh! It even still has this thing. Okay. That's, that goes for the strap. Let me actually attach that so I don't lose it. Let me just put that on there. Um, let me check. Right, Marisol? It's so cute. It does look like Sherbert. Okay. So you got two compartments, and then there's just a little pocket in the back. And then you will also get the dust bag as well. Oh yeah, no, they definitely make fakes of these pillow tabbies, so you have to be careful. Um, the pictures are usually pretty good, like when you take photos of like the fake ones, but when you once you get them like in your hands, you can definitely tell that they're fake, and like they feel like really weird and plasticky, and um, the hardware is like really like light and thick. Thin. Like, I feel like you can almost bend it. But in photos, they look really, really good. Um, hold on, Beatrice. Let me check for you really quick. Okay. So this is it, Veyron. Marisol. <laughs> Let me see if the phone fits in here. I always forget. Okay, yeah. iPhone does fit inside beautifully with the room to spare. It was, like, made perfectly to fit inside of there. So this is going to be item number one. And how much is this going to be, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for 200 So this is our rainbow mini pillow tabby. And that's 200. That's going to be item number one. All right. There we go. She's cute. Oh, Brina. Hi, Brina. How are you? I didn't see you there. Where's my gavel? Congrats, Brina. Yay. It's so pretty. Um, in comparison in size to the other pillow, Tabby. It looks like this. So this is like a size comparison between the two. It's like this one can live inside. So, yeah. Do I have any vintage coach? Um, I think I have... I didn't pull any um, for today. I'll probably have to go searching for it. Um, but I know I have a couple pieces. I'll show them tomorrow, but I don't have them today. But maybe I can pull them at the end. Oh, Breen, I didn't see you. I'm sorry. But we missed you. But that pillow tabby is so cute. You are going to love it. Yeah, so this is the Tabby 26. That one was like the 18, I think, right? Like the small size. Oh, so I still have this one since I showed it to you guys. Um, nice to see you too, Brina. So this is our pink pillow Tabby 26 with 
gold hardware. And this one does have like some discoloration right at the hardware right there. I managed to clean a lot of it off. Like a lot of it was actually just like dirt. But um, there is still like some discoloration on there. Very like, it's not as bad as it was. I don't remember if you guys, oh, I don't know if you guys remember when I first showed it. So it's actually a lot better than it was. Um, but um, I also managed to clean off almost all the corners with the exception of just this one corner right here. Still has more, a little bit more darkening than the others. But she is in great shape. And this is the Tabby 26. How much was this, Phaedrine? Okay, this one was $185. And that's item number two for this uh, pink pillow Tabby. And set this one right over there. All right. Now, on to some of the new stuff. Okay. Oh, let me put this dust bag with this guy. Don't want to lose that. Um, they have the pillow tabby that comes in, I think, like, three different sizes. And then they have, like, the regular tabbies that aren't, like, the pillow tabby. And that comes in, like, a bunch of different si uh, styles. So there's actually a lot of different ones. Oh, Kirsten. <laughs> it's gorgeous, Brina. Congratulations. Okay, up next, item number three. What do we have first? Let's do... Mm, 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 mm. Let's do this guy. This is a Michael Kors backpack. It is so cute. It's in a uh, canvas, and then it has, like, this is, like, black velvet. It's red. It's almost like an orangey red. Stars. Black outlines. And then like a cobalt blue. And has silver hardware. Oh, Gwen. Happy New Year. Thank you. I just realized that. Oh, Purple Rain. I'm glad. Do you like everything? Do you like your Louis Vuitton bag? That bag is gorgeous. But Happy New Year, Gwen. Thank you for stopping by. Um, but here she is. She's beautiful. There's two front zipper compartments. And then interior, it's just like plain. There's no pockets or anything inside of there. Um, here are the straps right here. They're both fabric, like the regular, like, nylon. That's not nylon, actually. I think this is more like a cotton, like a cotton nylon blend. And then it has the velvet in between like a stripe and they are adjustable and yeah um inside is pretty clean i think the only mark on the interior is just kind of like this mark right there and that's from the there's like this leather patch right here it's probably from rubbing which caused kind of like that darkness um but yeah otherwise the bag's in pretty great shape and this is like a, I would say this is like a medium size backpack, small, medium. And yeah, so this is item number three. And this is our blue and red. Carmen, I'll save the sunglasses for when you get home because I do have some sunglasses. So let me know when you get home and I'll show the sunglasses. Uh, Mark Jacobs backpack. I don't want you getting into an accident while you're driving. <laughs> With silver hardware and black velvet details. And what did you say, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this backpack for $75. And that's going to be item number three. If you're interested, $75 for our Marc Jacobs backpack. $75. All right, item number four is up next. Oh, the boys just got home from school. They have a half day today. Okay, let's do Hey 
Hey, you guys want to say hi to the live? Whoa, I like your shirt. You got to come in like the Kool Aid guy. Oh, yeah. Be careful, don't step on the stuff. There's some Chanel uh, back there. Uh, uh. I see there's new people. Purple Rain. Oh, Purple Rain. Purple and Purple Kool Aid guy. Purple Rain. You guys match? No, it's a different shade of purple. All right, Carvin, I'll wait on that one too. Ooh, I'd like to see if you could send me. Yeah, Veronica, we'll send those. I think you, you were able to pay for those off already. So we'll send those over. Say hi, Zachary hi. Banks. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah? My stomach just hurts. Your stomach hurts. Are you hungry? No, I ate and it still hurts. Uh -oh. It's when I cough. Oh, when you cough? And oh. like when I, some, and like when I like sit down. Diana, no, I still have that. But I don't, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep it. Um. Oh, thank you, Kirsten. I'll let Eliza know. I'm sure he'll stop by later. All right, Zachary, go do your homework. Right. Okay. I'm sure you want to eat a snack or something. I, mean, I want to eat cosmic brownie. Cosmic brownie? Uh, I thought you said your stomach hurts. It, it's probably hurting because he needs a cosmic brownie. Oh, okay. I'm gonna sit down. Oh, when you okay. <laughs> Oh, Zachary has a really good memory, especially anything, like, related to reading. His memory is, like, really, really good. All right. Um, item number four. Okay, this one is actually really cool. And um, I, I actually used to be obsessed. I still am obsessed with this luggage brand. Um, for me, it's kind of like Ramoa. And I actually like the style of their luggage a lot more, like, aesthetically. But this is a globe trotter, like, little um, pouch thing. And it's from, uh, it's it was, like, an Anna, ANA, like, the airline's, um, like, gift thing. And it's super cute. It's in, like, a, like a beige and, like, a tan. And then it has zips around, has gold hardware. It's super cute. You can put like a variety of things inside of here. And this is like a, a hard case. Um, there is, oh, I think this will come off. Hold on, there's like a little, oh yeah, it's coming off. It's just a little sticky. Looks like a sticker residue was on there, but that'll come off. Um, there is a little mark just right there. Which I think will also come off. Hold on, let me just try to clean this really quick. It's super cute. I don't, do you guys know Globetrotter luggage? Their luggage is really expensive. Hi, Adrian. JMC, I'm doing well. I do live in California. It was flooded literally everywhere. So, <laughs> um, it stopped raining though yesterday and today. But this, the rain is supposed to pick up again on Saturday. Which is crazy. Um, I don't live in the area where, like, the rain is, like, super impacting everything. And luckily, we live on a hill, so we're, like, higher up. Um, but places around have been flooding. Like, the older, older parts of, like, town and stuff. And the freeways are, like, a nightmare. But this is it. I was able to clean off that sticky thing and also that mark. Um, also came off as well. But yeah, it's just a cute little pouch. Um, Vadrian, how much is this one going to be? Vadrian? How much is this? Okay, we're going to do this one for $15. If anyone's interested in our little globe trotter pouch. It's very similar to that Ramoa one that I had. Like the little Ramoa ones that I had before. Super cute. And that's item number four. Oh, Melissa's calling it. Congrats, Melissa. Yay! That one's going to you. That guy over there. I love him too, Melissa. All 
I actually got two of them, but I'm probably going to keep this one for myself because <laughs> I need to keep one. They're so cute. So we're going to be twins. Um, all right, next item. Let's do... Oh, let's do this guy. Okay. Now, this one is a Selena Gomez um, coach collaboration bag. Hold on. Let me just get the mark off of here. Okay. And this is actually the year of the rabbit, so this actually totally works out. Whoopsies. So it's a Coach Selena Gomez collaboration piece. It's a black belt bag. It has like this white uh, glittery rabbit. I guess it's silver with like pink. And then it, on its little tail, it has these little, these are like little crystals. And it has a, like, a gunmetal colored hardware, and it zips across the front. Interior is like that. There's no pockets on the inside. Just the creed is right there. And then on the back, it says, um, not perfect, always me. I guess that's like a Selena Gomez quote. And then there's just one little zippered pocket back here and this bag actually has a really good strap um um grace i i haven't listed anything new um sometimes things will still sell like they still have listed on there but i yeah i'm gonna start listing again this year though i just haven't had the time yet to do anything like that. So, um, the newest items will always come up during the live sales. And you can always rewatch um, like, old sales. Uh, and items availability and the pricing are going to be in the description boxes of those videos. I try to keep them up to date, but you can just always message me and ask if something's sold already. Um, but here is the bag. You can wear it like a body bag like this. I think it looks really nice. Or you can wear it as a belt bag. And it does have the little um, hang tags right there as well. I really like the little bow one. How cute is that? And it also has like little crystals in it. And I think all the crystals are there. Yeah, none of the crystals have fallen out or anything. So little bow is still intact. Uh, Vedrin, have you sent out Kathleen stuff yet? Yes, Kathleen. Yeah. If you didn't get the tracking, let me know, Kathleen. Just check in your email, because sometimes that goes into um, your junk mail. But let me know if you haven't received it, and I'll send it over. Okay. Um, how much is this belt bag, Vadrin? This is our Coach Selena Gomez bunny belt bag in black leather and gun metal hardware. Wait, what did you say? Okay, this one's going to be $110 if anyone's interested. That is item number five for our Selena Gomez belt bag. Okay, item number five. So cute. I'm a year of the rally video. I already bought a Lunar New Year makeup brush. <laughs> Hannah. Oh, Kirsten's calling it. Congratulations, Kirsten. Oh, I'm sorry, Purple Rain. Kirsten called that one right before you. Kirsten was quick. I think she's been talking about this one for, like, since, like, since the video came out, I think. I think I saw her chatting about it in the Discord. So congratulations, Kirsten. That one is going to you. I haven't been keeping track of the items that sold. Whoopsies. Okay... And, okay, I think I'm caught up now. It was only, I think, a few things. Okay, number six is up next. What do we got? (sighs) 
Oh, okay, let's do this. Um, this is a super cute Patricia Nash. And it is, like, pretty rare. I've, like, I've never seen one of these Patricia Nash pouches or bags like this. It's, like, all, like, printed all over. So it's, like, magenta and blue. And on the front, it has, like, these polka dots. That, or polka dots. It has the pineapples. And the pineapples are actually, like, embossed and then printed on there. It's super cool. Um, it's in pretty good shape. Very minimal rubbing on the corners. Like, very minimal. And the interior of the pouch has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets inside. And it's nice and clean in there. There's no, like, stains or anything. Um, and, yeah, there's no discoloration at all either. It's in really good shape. And it does also have the little wristlet, which is stuck to the tag. There you go. It has a little wristlet, and the wristlet is in blue. And it's not removable. It's attached to the zipper pull. But this is item number six. And this is our magenta uh, and blue polka dot with pineapple leather Patricia Nash wristlet with uh, antique brass hardware. And how much is this, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $45. It's going to be item number six. Yes, Purple Rain. Yeah, that well, your stuff has been sent out already. Oh my gosh, yes, Hannah, who lives in a pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay, so that's that guy, our Patricia Nash. And number seven is up next. And let's do... Oh, okay. I'm obsessed with this Kate Spade tote. It's so nice. Um, so this is in canvas and leather. So it's a green and like a beige stripe. And then it has like the green leather trim with silver. I think it's silver. Hold on, maybe we'll tell better inside. No, it's a really light gold hardware. Super light gold hardware. This tote is in really great shape. It has little feet on the bottom as well. And I love the little sun charm. It is removable. You can put it on other stuff. But it's like a sun leather charm on the back. It says Kate Spade, New York. And then right there it says Kate Spade, Cabana. Perfect vacation summer bag. It is so, so cute. It doesn't have a print or anything on the back. So you can just carry it like this on this side too if you didn't want to have like the words or anything. This bag also does zip across the top, which is fantastic. So you can zip it closed in the inside. It just has, uh, there's two just open pockets and there's actually a zippered pocket um, right back there as well. And it's super clean on the inside. Um, this bag, like I said, is in like new condition and it is super duper cute. And this is item number seven. Oh, Mary's calling item number six. Congratulations, Mary. Where's my gavel? I already lost it. Oh, there it is. Yay, congrats, Mary. What you you? Okay. Striped tote. Sun charm. And light. Wait, what did you say? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $85. That's item number seven. There you go. So cute. Does have little feet on the bottom too. All right, set that guy right there. Such a cute bag. 
Um, okay. Oh, Alexa, were you calling the tote? I just wanted to make sure because they didn't put a number on it. All right. Eight is next. Our next item is going to be Oh, uh, let's see this one, but I wanted to clean this one off too. Hi O Maryland, how are you? Thanks for joining. Sorry, it's not by accident. Oh, okay, it's okay, Alexa. No worries. Okay. Sorry, I was just cleaning this one off really quickly. Just want to make sure all the marks come off. This next one is a Michael Kors wristlet pouch. And... It had some marks on it, but I'm just cleaning them off really quickly. Okay. I don't think this one mark is coming off, so that looks like it's going to be on there. But this is the pouch. It's a Michael Kors little pouch. It has these really pretty flowers on it in pink leather. And, like, all the studs and the hardware are also in, like, a light gold color. There are, like, a few little marks on the hardware. A couple, like, scratches. Nothing too crazy, but there are just marks on there. Um, This is the mark I wasn't able to get out. There's, like, a little dark mark just right there. It's not super obvious, but that mark is not coming out. It's kind of... It's kind of in there. And then wristlet is removable. So you can take this off if you wanted. And then it just zips across the top. And then the interior, um, there's a zipper pocket, right, or an open pocket right there. And on the other side, it has um, some cards. It has like six card slots inside of there. And it's pretty clean inside. There's just some mild discoloration just right at the top right here where the zipper attaches where the zipper meets the fabric and there is some discoloration too on the hardware so some of the gold is coming off where it connects to the metal right there so it's kind of turning a little silver but this is our next item item number eight this is our pink leather michael kors wristlet pouch with gold hardware and flower details and this is gonna be how much Adrian? okay we're gonna do this one for thirty dollars and that's gonna be item number eight all right number eight she's really cute i like the little leather details the flowers pretty Oh, Lady Badger's calling it. Congrats, Lady Badger. Number eight's going to you. Congrats. Oh, don't forget, you guys. Lady Badger and I are going to do a live sale next week. It's going to be on Thursday at 11 a.m. Thursday next week. So one week from today. Lady Badger and I are going to go live. So it's going to be super duper fun. Um, okay, number nine is up next. And we have... Oh, I'm sorry, Marisol. I think Lady, Lady Badger already called that one for number eight. Okay, uh, let's do... All right. Can you believe I found one of these again? Um, this is a Marc Jacobs. This is the uh, 
what is it? These are called the snapshot, the soft shot. I think it's called the soft shot. Ah, it is. Of course, it's written inside. I totally forgot. Okay, soft shot. And this is in like a taupe gray color and black. So it's taupe gray and black. It does have some marks on the hardware. Nothing crazy, but there are marks on the hardware. There's a back pocket, crossbody strap, is adjustable and removable. Um, oh, yeah, soft shot, super cute. Um, there's two zippered compartments. The back one has three built-in card slots, and the front one is just open. There's no other um, pockets inside of there. And everything zips up nicely. Uh, the leather on the exterior is in pretty good shape. There might be a little, there's a little bit of rubbing maybe just right there in this corner on the back right. Um, otherwise, nothing to really see. And the hardware is in pretty good shape, like the all the connectors and the zipper pulls. Um, very minimal wear. And yeah, so this is item number nine. Okay, and how much is this one going to be, Adrian? This is our Mark Jacobs soft shot in gray taupe and black leather with light with gold hardware. Okay, we're gonna do this one for a hundred and sixty-five. And that's gonna be item number nine. Oh, Carmen, all right. Carmen's home, let's do some sunglasses. <laughs> okay, so that's number nine, our soft shot. Um, bag, okay, and then number 10, let's do a pair of sunglasses. I I got a few fun ones. Okay, which ones are we gonna do first? Let's see. Hmm. Hi, Christine from Toledo. How are you? I haven't seen you in forever. I hope you're doing well. Okay, this is our next item. This is a pair of MCM sunglasses. Oh my gosh, I cannot. Okay, this is them. It is in a navy plastic lens. What is that? Oh no, it was just a fingerprint. Navy plastic lens, and then the sides are also in navy and then it turns into like a maroon color at the end um it just has like the little mcm logos on either side as well and it has a gray lens um there is like a weird thing with the lens of one of them like on the right lens it kind of has is it coming through there's like a little circle where like it's not gray i don't know what happened But it lost the color of the lens. I don't know. Like, you can't really tell. But it is, like, right here. But they're really good size. They're actually really nice sunglasses. So, navy MCM. And the heart, the, um, yeah. The heart, this stuff, like, this is in silver. With gray lens and silver hardware. And how much are these, Adrian? Okay, we're gonna do these guys for $50. And that's gonna be item 
Number 10. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, Kirsten. Oh, but they're too big for your face. No. Oh, Carmen, congratulations. Carmen called it item number nine. <claps> Going to Carmen. I mean, ten, sorry. Not nine. Ten. All right. Number ten. Going to Carmen. Oh, Linda, I'm sorry you're tired. The flu shot does take a lot out of you, though. But congratulations, Carmen. Those sunglasses are going to you. Okay. And then... I also have this really cool pair of Gentle Monster sunglasses. And these are in, like, a... I don't even know what to describe it. It's, like, a brown color. And it's, like, the same color. Like, the lens is the same color as, like, the arms. Like, they're, like, see-through. So it's really cool. It's kind of like a, like a light brown color. And then it has, like, um, gold metal that, like, runs through. And they look like this on... Um, Mary Freeman is calling number nine. Oh, Mary, nope, that one is available. That is yours. Congratulations, Mary. That's the soft shot Mark Jacobs bag. Congratulations. All right, so this is item number 11. And these are in really great shape. Um, very minimal, like, marks on the lenses, just like the MCMs are in really good condition. I love Gentle Monster, too, right? Okay. And this is... Right, Kirsten? I love Gentle Monsters. I have a good number of these in my collection, and in my sister's as well. Uh, alright, so this is... Oh, I think these say the name of the style. Flatba? No, in Scarlet is the name, I think, of the um, style. Okay, so these are number 11. And these are our brown, gentle, monsters, large frame sunglasses with gold hardware. And this is how much fade rain? All right, we're gonna do these guys for $65 for our Gentle Monsters. That's number 11. Oh, thank you, Kirsten. Oh, that's awesome, Fizzbot. I really like them. I, I love Gentle Monster sunglasses. I think I have these exact ones, but I think like, they're in black. And I don't think the sides are clear. I think it's just like a um, like a solid black, but they are pretty awesome. Um, okay, and these are these. Number 11, Gentle Monsters. Oh, Purple Rain's calling it. Congratulations, Purple Rain. These are going to you. They are fantastic. You're going to love them. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you guys like the sunglasses. You guys know how much I love sunglasses, and this prevents me from hoarding them. If I show them to you right away, <laughs> you guys buy them. Okay. Purple rain. All right. And then I have, okay. Now I remember someone asking about wanting heart shaped sunglasses. So if you're out there, heart shaped sunglasses is going to be next. Um, they are super duper cute and they're really fun. Okay, are you guys ready for the heart-shaped sunglasses? This is going to be number 12, okay? And these are Saint Laurent. Yeah, these are Saint Laurent sunglasses. Oh, thank you, Diana. All right, here they are. So it's kind of like in this, like, yellow... Yeah, they're kind of like a clear yellow. And then the glasses themselves are gradient... Um, like a blue to clear. 
Oh, yes. Everything is authentic that I show you guys um, that I saw during the lives. But these are the sunglasses. They're really, really cute. And they do have a gold, like, metal frame going through them. Kind of like those gentle monsters that I just showed you guys. But these are... They're actually a really good size. So, these are really, really great size, like, sunglass. So, heart-shaped. Perfect for Valentine's Day coming up. Or for any time, really. They're gorgeous. They're in really great shape, too. Very minimal marks on these guys. Um, yeah, really, really good shape. And these are clear yellow Saint Laurent sunglasses with blue gradient lens and gold hardware. And these are going to be $95 for our Saint Laurent sunglasses. They're so cute. And the heart shape is so fun on these. I feel like these are a really, like, unique shape, too. They're not, like, a symmetrical heart. They're really cute. I don't know, Diana. I don't know how I found these, but they are amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Purple Rain. I don't know if I'd ever wear, like, heart-shaped sunglasses, though. It would make my sister really jealous. Um, oh, Carmen's calling them. Carmen. Oh my gosh, Carmen, your sunglass collection is going to rival mine. Congratulations, Carmen. All right. Up next, number 13. Ooh, lucky number 13. All right, Carmen. So these are going to you. I love it. I'm like your sunglass dealer. It's the best. Um, and then the number 13. Let's do... Oh, let's do this. Okay, this is such a cool bag. Um, this is a... Dooney and Burke satchel. And uh, Angela. No, Angela, that one sold already. I'm sorry. Uh, I think Jean was the one that bought that bag. Okay, so Dooney and Burke. This is in like a coated canvas. So it has this really, really pretty floral print. And then it has like a Vachetta leather trim and there's a bottom it does have little feet um there are like some marks on the coated canvas just like light scratches because it's kind of like a it has like almost like a patent kind of effect to it um so there are just some like light marks on it and the vachetta does also have some mild discoloration but it's such a cool like unique bag and the interior instead of like the normal red it's actually this beautiful like bright yellow and there's a zipper pocket there and then there's um three open compartments as well as a little key fob there also is some discoloration um to the fabric in the interior uh but nothing like too crazy but there is some discoloration um and yeah, no like pen marks or anything. Just like some regular discoloration, just like through regular use. Um, and the handles are in pretty good shape. It all has like a pretty even patina to it. I think the most wear on the leather is just on like the bottom corners where there's like some rubbing. And I think there's um, this one kind of like water stain on this left side on the front. And then a little bit of the left side on the back. Okay. But this is item number 13. Oh, Linda. Oh, Linda, there's no one at home right now. <laughs> okay, so this is our 
floral printed coated canvas and Vachetta leather duny and burke satchel with polished brass hardware. Okay, we're going to do this guy for $75. And that's number 13. Oh, you're eating jalapeno bread? That sounds so good. But yeah, so cute. The um the strap too. It's not like crossbody. It's just like a longer shoulder strap, but you can still wear it crossbody as to sit higher, or you can attach like a longer one to it. Oh, oh, Maryland's calling it. Congratulations, oh Maryland. Number thirteen is going to you. Congrats. She's a beauty. Set her over there. Okay, up next, we got number 14. And what do we have today? All right, up next, <clears throat> I have right, Carmen. It's so cool. I've never seen one like that before, so I got really excited. This is a Coach double wristlet, and it's in this really pretty croc embossed leather in a tan. It has light gold hardware, and uh, we do have the little hang tag. It is right there. The wristlet is removable. And it's a snake, like snake printed embossed leather. So like a nice little combo. And the front pouch is just an open compartment. And the back one has um, six built-in card pockets and the slip pocket in the back. Super clean um in the interior and the exterior is in really good shape there's no like rubbing or anything on the leather this one i would say it's in like new condition and it also does have a magnetic compartment right here in the middle and the interior of that is actually in leather and it's kind of like this deep burgundy and let's see if it'll fit the phone in the middle i feel like it will <gasps> oh, it fits in there beautifully. So you can definitely put your phone inside of there. Really great little, like, pouch. You can use it as an evening clutch, as, like, a wallet would be great, too. And you can just throw your phone in there, and then you're on the go. Put your little wristlet on, and then you're on the out the door. Okay, so this is going to be um, item number 14. Our double zip... Uh, Croc embossed leather, tan leather wristlet with um, polished brass hardware and a snake print embossed removable wristlet. And this is going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for 45 and this one is in like new condition. And that's going to be item number 14. Okay. Number 14. There we go. Really cute. I love this Croc embossed leather. She's a beauty. Okay, so we got number 14. Then 15 is up next. Okay, for number 15, I think this is Carmen. This is, I think this is the bag that you're asking about. Um, this is a... Oh, Dorothy's Con 14. Congratulations, Dorothy. Yay. All right. Okay, so number 15 is the Tory Birch. This is in a beautiful 
black leather. It's quilted on the bottom and like the back. And then it has like the Tory Burch logo up at the top. Um, it does have a back pocket right there. And the straps are adjustable. So you can wear this one as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody, which is great. And then interior, it has just two open pockets right there and then a zipper pocket. It is nice and clean on the interior. And yeah, the bag is in great shape. There's the bottom, there's the back. Okay, so this one is our black quilted Tory Birch convertible flap bag with gold hardware. And this is gonna be how much we doing for this one? Okay, we're gonna do this one for 155. And that is item number 15. Okay, so that's number 15. Oh, Carmen called it. Congrats, Carmen. Carmen really wanted that one. Congrats, Carmen. That's a beautiful little bag. I'm glad we were able to find one for you because I know you've been wanting another one of those for a few weeks. Okay, so that's item number six, 15. 16 is coming up next. And okay, this one is super duper cute. This is a little Mew Mew shoulder bag. I think this is actually the second time I have gotten one of these bags, so it's really, really cute and really exciting to find it again. And I'm pretty sure it was the same exact color as well, but it's a gray Mew Mew. I think this is a lambskin leather. It has like this rouged pocket in the front, and it actually is two separate compartments. So this is two separate compartments here in the front and it does zip across the top and it just has this like lavender gray interior lining, which is in a really good shape. Um, the exterior leather does have some marks. This is actually a glue mark. So that's when they're building the, like the, bag and this is like the glue that they use it dries clear so you don't see it and then over time it'll like start to yellow if that like actually gets on the leather so that's what that is you also see it right here as well it's coming out of the stitches right there it's not as noticeable and there's also a little bit right there on the corner otherwise though it is in good shape the little um strap too is uh you can't actually what's it called adjust it a little bit um this is the shortest that it goes and it's just like a little shoulder bag like that and it has a really cute little mew mew charm right there but yeah so cute uh, you got a good bag you can buy anyone <laughs> oh maryland <laughs> Oh, it's Diana. <laughs> Stop. Okay, this is our gray Mew Mew shoulder bag with gold hardware. And how much is this going to be, Vitrine? It's so cute. And this will fit your cell phone, too. So, cell phone does fit inside of there, like, perfectly. And then you can zip it up, so... Okay, we're going to do this one for $145, and that's for our Mew Mew item number 16, 145 and okay, 16, then 17 is up. Oh, Purple Rain's calling it. Congrats, Purple Rain. That's a great one. You're going to love it. All right, set that guy over there.
And then 17 is up next. And we're going to do... Oh, let's do this one. This one is so cute. Okay. This is our next item. This is a Coach um, crossbody camera bag. And this is one of the... Um, oh, what is his name? It's on here. Um, Keith Herring. This is one of the Keith Herring um, bags. And has like one of his little dog prints on the front in white. And this is like embossed and printed on there. And then has like a red coach tag. Um, it looks like it might have been like repainted. But. Yeah. Like I think these styles used to be like in glitter. But I think someone repainted over it. But they did a pretty decent job. So. I'm not mad at it. Um, it has contrasting stitching in brown. There's a pocket in the back. The lining is like the best part though. You got this really cool Keith Haring print in the interior. And there's a zipper pocket. And then there's a open pocket. And the interior is in pretty good shape. So it's nice and clean. And I love the way that it opens up so wide too, which is really nice. Hi Bonaventure! Um, any SLGs? Do I have any SLGs today? Um... I don't think I do today, uh, Linda. I don't have anything hidden in these, do I? Oh, how much is this going to be, Adrian? Okay, so this is our Coach Keith Herring uh, camera bag with dog print with what color hard or oh, gun metal hardware? And this one is going to be eighty five dollars. That's item number seventeen. Okay. And... Oh, Hepatia's calling it. Congrats, Hepatia. This one's a beautiful bag. Congratulations. Ooh, what are you making for lunch, Boots? Alright, 18 is up next. Alright. Let's do... Oh, let's do this one. I have this really cute little Rebecca Minkoff crossbody bag. It has a little tassels here on the front. And it has silver hardware. There's a pocket here in the back as well. And this is actually a little magnetic snap in the front, so you don't actually have to undo the buckle. And there's just one interior pocket inside of there. And it's just a cute little crossbody. This will fit your cell phone inside as well. So that fits in there beautifully. And there we go. Um, J Sweet. Do I have any as is bags? Oh yeah. Oh, actually I do. And it's gonna be a vintage one. I just oh wait, who was asking about the vintage coach? Was it you, J Sweet? I do have one. Or two. Anyway, I'm sorry I forgot who it was I was asking, but I do have an as is, and it's gonna be a vintage um, coach. Um, oh, Linda, it's actually a good length. It's adjustable too. Um, I think this is the mid length that it go that I have it set at right now. So it goes um, up like a little bit above my hip, and it does go longer. Do, do, do. Okay, this is the longest that it goes. And this one's now it sits like exactly where like my hip is. 
<laughs> my jacket or my sweater is like not helping. But it's a good it's a good length. And it is adjustable. So this is um black Rebecca Minkoff mini bag with silver hardware. And this is how much paid in for this guy? Okay, this one is $65 for a little mini Rebecca Minkoff. Item number 18. But yeah, this one's a good length. This one sits a little bit longer. So. And it is adjustable, so you can make it shorter. Oh, Linda's calling it number 18. Congrats, Linda. Yay. She's a beauty. We do love a little mini bag. And then 19. Okay. We have. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, okay, someone emailed me about this bag yesterday, and I was gonna send photos, and I can't find the email. Um, if it was you, I'm so sorry, whoever it was. I'm gonna go look again later. But. This is a mini, this is a small black Tory Burch crossbody. Black soft piano leather, gold hardware. Um, crossbody strap is adjustable and removable. We have the little top handles. That's what the bottom looks like. There's the back. It does zip across the top as well, which is fantastic. And the interior just has a zipper pocket and then an open pocket. And it's nice and clean inside of there. It's in really, really good shape. Beautiful little crossbody bag. And again, this is in a black Safiano leather. And this one, the longest that it goes is... There you go. Yeah, this one is like the Rebecca Minkoff. It's a really good um, long length. Really, really cute. Little Tory Birch. Black Tory Birch. Safiano small satchel with gold hardware. And how much is this featuring? Okay, this one was $110, and that's number 19. Yeah, Melissa, this one's a cute, like, the structure on this one is good. That Safiano leather holds up really well. Mm -hmm. Oh, Diana. I think I remember that bag. Super cute. Okay. Up next. <clears throat> yeah, Linda. It's a, yeah, it's like a similar size. That one's just a little bigger because it, like the body is just like wider in general. But similar size. Um, oh, I still do have a bunch of the Chanel bags, too, if anyone's interested, but I'll just show you guys them really quickly. I have the pink one, I have the blue one, and then I have these two red ones. If anyone wants to see any of them, let me know, but I still do have a couple Chanel bags left. Oh, I still also do have ketchup and mustard, the backpacks. Okay, uh, next up. We have, I'll do that vintage coach. Uh, oh, Miss SG is calling number 19. Congratulations, Miss SG. That's our black toy birch. Congratulations. Where'd it go? Ah. Congratulations, that was a beautiful bag. Okay, number 20. This is the as is um, vintage bag I was telling you guys about. This is a vintage coach crossbody. This is a flat, flat bag. Um, the color is really pretty, but it does have like marks on it. You can see this like water stains. This would probably look fantastic after you do a dunking with it, like what Tanya does. It's not something Hadrian does yet, but it's beautiful. It has silver hardware. The leather on this is so nice. This is like made in Costa Rica bag, I believe. Yeah, 
made in Costa Rica, a little um, creed is right there. There's one interior zipper pocket, and the interior is unlined, and it's just suede. And it does have the little hang tag. The hang tag has, like, gotten a lot darker than the rest of the bag, but it's there still. And I love, like, it's like a cherry red. It's a really vibrant color. You can definitely just keep it as is, too. It's not, like, the worst, but it also does smell like, um, like it has, like, a light perfume scent to it. So, this is our vintage, as is, coach, flat, flab, crossbody bag with silver hardware made in Costa Rica. And this one's going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $40, and that's number 20. Um, Andrea, of course I'll show them. Oh, Tofo's calling it number 20. Congra oh, it's calling number 20. And that one is this guy. Congratulations, Tofo. Yay. All right, that one's going to you. Put that one over there. All right. And let me show the red Chanel's really quickly. Okay, so 21. Let's do this one first. This is the red Chanel. And this is in a soft lambskin leather. <laughs> and <laughs> I've been using it. I've already kind of fallen in love with it. So, I mean, if anyone's interested in the tote, like, it's for sale. But, like, I've literally, like, been using it. And I'm kind of, like, obsessed with it. Um, but here she is. It's quilted on the top flap and on the sides. Like, the quilting is larger. And then the body, uh, the quilting on the body is a, like, a larger quilting, if that makes sense. Uh, this one has gold hardware. There's no pocket on the back. There is kind of, like, a beautiful patina that the bag has kind of been getting because it's, like, this super squishy, soft lambskin. This uh, leather will patina over time, and it's patinaed beautifully. Like, it almost, like, just has almost, like, an aged kind of look to it, which I love. And the leather is so soft. You can also wear this one as a shoulder bag or um, it is a little bit of a shorter strap. So it's going to be a, a higher up crossbody, but you can still crossbody this one. And then the interior looks like this. There's just one interior zipper um, right there. And there is a little bit of like red, like red markings right here above the or underneath the zipper. That's actually from the leather itself because it's such like a soft leather. Um, it has a little bit of color transfer just from rubbing, like the interior of the bag rubbing on itself. But it, other than that though, like the bag is in beautiful condition. This also will come with a certificate of authenticity as well. And this is number 21. <laughs> I know Tofo is really bad. Hi, Dawn. How are you? Red. Um, it's the red Chanel a lambskin quilted flap bag with gold hardware. And this is how much, Peter? No, it's the squishy one. Yeah. It's the other red one. No, it's the gold hardware. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay, this one is 2850 So that's this guy right there. And then the other one is a very similar color. But this one is in a like a like a harder leather this is like in a calf skin um leather with silver hardware and this is an accordion style bag so 
I love this because it can get flat or it expands depending on how much you put in. It also has a fantastic secret zipper compartment. Um, this will hold an ice, like if, it, if you have a phone smaller than the largest iPhone Max or like plus size, it'll fit inside of there, which I think is really cool. But you can put like a wallet inside of here. It actually does go pretty deep. You can put your headphones inside. So secret pocket, really cool. There also is a little flat back pocket right there. And when you open it up, you have your three compartments. And the first two don't have any other compartments inside of them. And then the back just has a zipper pocket. And the interior of this bag is in great shape. There's no stains or pin marks or anything. And this one also um, you can wear as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. And this one um, has a little, is like a longer strap than the other. So this one has a longer crossbody strap than the other red one. You can also wear this one like a clutch. So you pull in the strap. Do you hear Eliza making baby sounds? That's his favorite thing to do right now. <laughs> you hear it? He's like, eh. Um, and then you have, you can um, just have like a little top handle. And there's like a little clip that you can put inside the bag and then it'll um, keep it like the little handle um, taut like this so you can carry it like a little top handle or put it in the crook of your arm. So it's really, really cute. And how much is this one, Adrian? Okay, so this one is a little bit cheaper than the other one. Um, this one's 2800 instead of 2850 Um uh, this is our red Chanel flat bag with silver hardware accordion style. Okay. That's number 22. Okay. But yeah, there's that guy. Right, Andrea? This bag is so pretty. Uh, Veronica. Oh, yeah, you wanted to see number 20? It's this guy right here. This one's an as-is. This one was an as-is bag. So it does have, like, a bunch of marks on it. All right, up next, we got number 23. Oh, did I? What did I put? Oh, I put at eight, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, guys. There we go. Um, 23 is up next, and let's do, oh, let's do this one. Okay, this is a Madewell, um, tote. This one is in, like, a linen canvas and then black leather. I love this bag. Like, the size is amazing. The strap is fantastic, and then it does also have a crossbody strap as well, and the strap is removable and adjustable. Uh, this guy opens up really nicely, too. Like, it just is a huge tote. There's just one interior pocket inside of there, and it has a black fabric interior. And it has antique brass hardware as well. Hi, Cassandra. How are you? Happy Thursday. Oh, Don, that's exciting. What happened? Yeah, Kathleen, the, someone bought that red coach already. It was from earlier. Um, okay, so this is our linen canvas and brown leather Madewell tote with antique brass hardware. And this one is in, like, new condition, you guys. Okay, and this one is going to be $55. 
And that's item number 23. Hi, Cassandra. Okay, so then this is 23. Our awesome totes. And then 24, I have... Uh, did I show you guys this one already? Maybe. But this is a double zip um, Tory Burke satchel. It's in this pink pebbled leather with a brushed gold hardware. And this is, this bag has so many compartments for the front pocket and then two zippered compartments. And then in between the zippered compartments, there's actually, oh, sorry, there's three zippered compartments. And then in between the three zippered compartments, there are open pockets. And then the middle zippered compartment has a zippered compartment and an open one. How many times am I gonna say compartment? But it has a lot of storage. And yeah, she's really pretty. Crossbody strap is removable and adjustable. And there is like a little mark right here on the front. Um, I don't even know. If she, can you see it? It's like right there. Um, it looks like a tiny like little pen mark. Uh, I was able to remove like most of it and get it really light, but it is still like right there. And yeah, it does also have like a really, really light like perfume scent. I don't know if it's like a cleaner though, because I've smelled like um, like cleaner that smells like this. Someone might have tried to clean the interior before I bought it, but that's this guy. Light pink triple zip Tory Burch satchel with brushed gold hardware and hot for this Adrian. Okay, let's lower this guy. And we're going to do 95 on this one if anyone's interested. That's the item number 24. We had it like 120, I think. But that's number 24. $95. It's a really great bag. This is a good work bag or like everyday bag. Even like a travel bag or like a school bag. It holds a lot. Also, there's a great front zipper or front open pocket for your cell phone. Okay, so that's that guy. Up uh, next, oh, this is the contest thing. Um, okay, this one is so cute. This is actually a Rebecca Minkoff, uh, like little, like almost like a bucket bag satchel and. It has um, caviar leather, and then the trim is in like a smooth leather. It has silver hardware, and it has all these really pretty um, pearl studs on it. One of the studs is missing, though, on one side. So there's a missing stud right there. I think they sell like half pearls, so you might be able to get like a replacement, but um, it is missing one of the pearls on there. And it has just like this like kind of like magnetic belt up at the top. And then it's just um, open in the interior. The bottom is in leather and then it has uh, fabric around. And the crossbody strap is adjustable and it is removable. But it's so cute. Like the style of this is so fun. And it has Rebecca Minkoff right there in silver. Okay, and this is number 25. This is our black caviar and smooth. Um, oh, Deborah's calling number 24. Congratulations, Deborah. That's our Tory Birch satchel. Congrats. Yay. Okay, Deborah. Ooh, we're going to go to Mexico. How fun. Have so much fun. 
We're going to live vicariously through you because we're not going to be in Mexico. <laughs> Uh, black caviar and smooth leather, Rebecca Minkoff, um, bucket bag with silver hardware and pearls. Okay, how much did you say, Adrian? Okay, we're gonna do this one for $65, and that's number 25. <laughs> Don. Okay. Um, yeah, so that was 25. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, 26 is up next. Oh, was the, um, Don, you're talking about the MCM? Yeah, that bag is beautiful. Congratulations. Do you, oh, did you want to see it? I have it right here. The MCM. This, um, this is the MCM satchel. It's so pretty. Dawn just purchased this one. It's in black perforated leather, and then it has these really pretty studs crossbody and it's this beautiful silver inside too look at this silver and that's also in leather also in the interior so it is a beauty again congratulations we're going to give you a gavel for that Don congrats Don yes this is such a beautiful bag you're going to love it and it's such a good size too okay 26 is up next and let's do oh let's do this one okay this is a amy kestenberg leather backpack it looks very similar to a rebecca minkoff style but this is in black pebbled leather silver hardware um it has a, the, a big, large zipper compartment in the front, like that. It does also have, like, a gusset at the bottom, so your stuff doesn't fall out that you have inside. And there's just one interior, like, zipper pocket. There is also, or there are, like, two stains right there um, in, like, brown. So there are, like, marks right there. Um... And there are a couple, like, dark marks, too, at the very bottom. So there are a couple marks on the interior. The exterior, though, like, the leather is in great shape. There's a little pocket back there. What's cool, too, is that there's, like, this uh, little magnetic snap that's attached to the zipper. And this actually goes back here and then attaches to the back of the bag. So, like, people can't just, like, pull this when you're carrying it because the magnet like holds it taut. So that's actually a really cool like design element. Uh, straps, adjustable, and they are leather. They are like fully leather. And yeah, back pocket as well. So this is our black pebbled leather Amy Kestenberg backpack with silver hardware. And how much is this, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $55. That's item number 26. Okay, Amy Kestenberg. There. Then next up, I have, um, this is a Michael Kors, and this is in a magenta color. It has a pebbled leather, 
it has gold hardware. And the crossbody strap too is adjustable. So right now I have it like at the shortest length, but you can go all the way down to where those studs are. So it actually can go a lot longer. And it's kind of like a half moon style bag. This style is very popular right now. And gold hardware has like a little Michael Kors charm on the zipper pull. And then the interior has a zipper pocket and just an open pocket. And I don't think I see any, yeah, there's no stains or marks or anything. The inside is in really great shape and so is the exterior. Um, yeah, this one would be in like new condition. And this is a newer style too. Okay, so this is our uh, magenta pebbled leather Michael Kors half uh, moon crossbody bag with gold hardware. And this is how much feed range for this guy? No. Okay, we're gonna do this one for $70. And that one's $27. That's 27. I think we're just going to go to 30 today. I think that'll be a good number to end on. And then we'll have more stuff um, coming up on Friday. So that's 27. And then 28 is up next. Let's do... Oh, let's do this. This is a Claire Vivier belt bag. I love the colors on this one. And it zips across the front right here. And the interior just looks like that. It has just like the chambray lining. And it's like super clean in the interior. Um, the exterior is in great shape too. The bag looks like it's in like new condition. Uh, the crossbody strap or the belt strap is also like completely removable. So you can just use this as like a regular belt too. So it's kind of like a two for one type of deal. And you can wear this as a body bag or just like around your waist, but it's so cute. The colors are really fun. It's in like a pink, orange, beige, and then green, and then like black. And this one is in like new condition as well. I believe this belt bag retails for like almost $400 really really nice and this is our oh and Claire Vivier she's like a California based designer um all her leather goods are made in California I believe in LA so this is our uh Claire Vivier snake print and embossed belt bag with black leather trim and gold hardware Okay, this one's going to be $130. Okay. I can't wait for your bag to arrive, Hannah. That bag is so pretty. Okay, so that's our Claire V. And then 29 <laughs> Done. Okay. <laughs> oh, Cassandra's calling it. Congrats, Cassandra. She's a beauty. You're going to love this guy. I love Claire Vivier. All right. 29. I have... This is a... Alexander Wang. The Prisma Satchel. And this is in a taupey gray color with gold hardware. And I had this bag a while ago, but it was in gray. And I think it was like... I think it had suede and leather... I don't exactly remember, but this one's in a taupe, like a taupey gray color. Um, it has like that cool hardware on the corners. There are marks on the hardware though. And there is also some rubbing on the corners and some like mild like marks as well. There's like a, 
couple little marks right there on the side. And this bag opens like this. You squeeze together the hardware and then it pops open the top. And interior is um, unlined, so it's in suede. And this has a zipper pouch right here. And the pouch is actually removable. You unzip here at the top and it kind of, it opens up like a jacket. So it comes apart and then you can just use the clutch by itself. So that's really nice. And it just says Alexander Wang on there. And the underside is also in suede. Um, there are a couple little pen marks at the very, very bottom of the bag. But they're not super obvious. But there are just a few small marks inside of there. And yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful bag. The bag also does have a crossbody or like a longer shoulder strap. Um, you can definitely still crossbody it. It sits just a little bit higher. And... It will look like that as a crossbody. I love the structure of this bag. It's like the Kelly version that Alexander Wang makes. You're well, yeah, Kathleen, we'll send it right after the live. You ordered Baby Valk. Oh my gosh, you ordered Baby Falco from Never Ending Story? I love Never Ending Story, it's one of my faves. It's Alexander Wang, Kirsten. Alexander Wang. So this is Alexander Wang Prisma Satchel with gold hardware. And this is how much, Vedrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $145 for Alexander Wang Prisma Satchel. And this is in like a taupey, it's like a taupey tan beige color. It's kind of like all of them mixed together. Okay, and then 30 is going to be our last item for the evening. <laughs> okay, uh, oh, last item is going to be a Gucci. Okay, this one's a cool one. It's an 85th anniversary um, Gucci satchel. Here she is. So it's in the... Well, let me zip this up. Across the top really quick. Okay. This is the Gucci satchel. It's in, um, brown canvas. And it has, like, this large... Um, like horse bit detail in the front. Hardware is like a light gold color. And then on the back, it just says 85th to commemorate the 85th anniversary. Right there. And the bag is in pretty good shape. Like the canvas is great. The leather is in good shape. Um, the only thing is that there's two zipper pulls on the top right here. One of the zipper pulls is missing the leather tab. So the other leather tab is fine. The other leather tab is missing on one of these guys. So um, that's what's wrong with the zipper. And the interior is in pretty good shape. It just has brown cotton fabric lining. There's a vintage cell phone pocket on one side, it's right there, and then a zipper on the other, and then you have the little Gucci little tag right there, seal number is underneath. It's gorgeous, right, Kristen? It's a good little Gucci bag. And the straps, I think, is this the longest that they go? Okay, the straps can go a little bit longer than this. They go one more um, hole down. So you might gain like about like an, almost an inch in strap length. But you can still carry this like on your shoulder. And it's really, really cute. There are no, yeah, there's no exterior pockets on this one. But it's beautiful. I love this, like, giant horse bit detail, too. It's really nice. Bye, Dawn. Have a good day at work. 
But yeah, so that's this guy right here. And that's number 30, Gucci, 85th anniversary um, satchel in brown monogram canvas, brown leather trim, and light gold hardware. Again, it's in really, really great condition. It's just that one, the leather zipper pull on one of the zippers is missing, but you can just leave it as is. You can just use the other zipper to open and close it, or you can add like a little leather tab onto it, but you can still just pull it, the little metal piece is still there, so. Okay, this is how much feed rain? That's it for today, Jace I'll try to pull some more for you guys tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna do this one for $350. That's gonna be our last item for the evening. Number 30, our Gucci for $350. <laughs> Gucci gang. <laughs> the kids love saying that. I don't know why. They used to say it all the time. Are you keeping... Oh, Carmen! I haven't decided yet. I'll let you guys know tomorrow. So they may or may not pop up in tomorrow's sale. But yeah, 85th anniversary Gucci bag. In really great shape. It's just the zipper. one of the zipper pulls and the leather piece is missing. Oh, Purple Rain's calling it! Congratulations, Purple Rain! Yay! Congratulations! She's a beauty. Okay, so that was our last item for the day. Um, now we're going to do our giveaway. So, don't leave yet. We're giving away the, the Wyatt sunglasses. And let me leave the link one more time for the giveaway. Mm -mm -mm. Here she is. Our question is, what is your favorite handbag color? And then we're going to come back again with a new sale tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific time. And I'll try to bring, like more stuff that's like um i'll try to bring like sale stuff for tomorrow and i still have some new items i haven't shown you guys yet um so those will be shown tomorrow as well and then yeah so we should have some fun stuff tomorrow i'm excited uh rena the sunglasses are so cute right Uh, oh, uh, before we end, too, does any if anyone has any questions about anything, like, let me know. And what else was I going to say? Um, invoices should be sent out within the next 15 minutes as well. All right. Are you guys ready to um, pick our winner? And I'm going to miss the beginning of the sales more. Oh, it's okay, Kirsten. I love... Oh my gosh, Kirsten, time out really quick. I was in Taekwondo for years. I was one belt away from getting a black belt. I stopped at junior black because um, I got braces and then my mom didn't want me to get kicked in the mouth. So I stopped Taekwondo like literally right before I got a black belt. Isn't that crazy? All right, um, okay, we're going to pick the winner in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Brina, congratulations. <laughs> uh, favorite hacker color is blue, like a Tiffany blue. Oh, that's so cool. Well, congratulations, Brina. You won our sunglasses. We'll ship this along with your other stuff. But yeah, they're white sunglasses. They're super cute. I think they're going to look so chic on you. So congratulations, Brina. You have won our sunglasses. But yeah, Kirsten, oh, that's so crazy. What color, what belt are you? What belt are you at? But um, yeah, we'll send this along with your other stuff, Brina. Congratulations. And... I'll see you guys tomorrow, again, at 7 p.m. Pacific time is going to be our next sale. 
Um, thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. It was a blast. And if you're watching this video after the live is already over, check down below in the description box. Items availability and pricing are going to be there as well. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow, okay? All right. Love you guys so much. I got to get ready for Eliza's birthday on Saturday. All right. Bye, guys. We'll have the invoices sent out next 15 minutes. Good night or good morning, whatever time it is over there. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, Diana, Carmen, Brina, Kathleen, Tofo, Jocelyn, Purple Rain, Tara, Carmen, uh, Boots, Cassandra, Hepatia, uh, Kirsten, and uh, Hannah, and Linda. Uh, I didn't mention your name, I'm so sorry, but I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all later. Bye!